So, some of you are familiar with our current MacBook Pro. As Johnny pointed out, it is the best in class in the industry. This is what most pros in a lot of fields aspire to. And today, we're going to replace it with this. Full glass, instant on LED displays. You can see how thin the display is. All the connectors on one side. It's just gorgeous. So, precision aluminum unibody enclosure, LED backlit display, next generation graphics. So, 2021 gonna end. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And hello, you lovely people of the tube web. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you a 15 inch MacBook Pro 2011. But very quickly, before we go down that rabbit hole, please leave a like, subscribe to never miss a video. With that out of the way, thank you for clicking this. Now let's get into the video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a new method that I've come up with to permanently disable the defective dedicated AMD GPU in a 2011 15 inch or 17 inch Apple MacBook Pro. Now the method that I'm about to show you here is by far the ultimate solution to this issue. And the reason I say that is because this method requires no hardware modifications. It does not rely on any NVRAM variables. And of course it is a permanent solution. And that solution is reprogramming the GMUX IC, which is a chip on the logic board of these machines that handles the graphics switching between the Intel integrated graphics and the dedicated AMD video card and uh, reprogramming that chip with a custom firmware that I've developed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the entire process of flashing that firmware onto the GMUX IC in this video and show you how well it actually works. So before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot up this machine. Now this machine, of course, is a 2011 15 no doubt this is still a great MacBook but it's smart with issues, mainly the graphics failure. Get your 15 inch, 17 inch, 2011 MacBook Pro fix following DOS Dude 1 method. Subscribe to DOS Dude 1 channel, link in the description down below. I wouldn't recommend baking or using heat gun to fix the GPU chip as it could damage the other components and it is only a temporary fix. Look for someone offering the same services as DOS Dude 1 because if you were to send to a repair shop, they might probably just bake or hit and fix your MacBook and charge you a ridiculous amount for the repair. I also wouldn't recommend first time Mac actually fixed this MacBook that I'm currently using to show you in this video as it hasn't suffered the AMD GPU failure since I barely use it. Where I'm from, I do actually offer repair services for this model but my hands are tied. So in this video, I'm showing you how well this MacBook runs 3 operating systems if it works just fine. It's currently running Monterey, Windows 10, and an Android OS. JK. <laughs> the MacBook runs well on Windows 10. Reasons why I don't install Windows 11 on it. So I'm gonna skip Windows 11 for this model. It runs perfectly fine on Windows 10. So we just leave it as it is. I do hope you can subscribe and share my videos to your friends so this channel can grow and it's actually growing really quite well. I have many videos lined up and will be releasing it slowly. I hope you be patient. I will definitely improve the quality of my videos. So stay tuned. Keep watching this video till the end. Thank you so much.
JK, really? <laughs> Malloy.